guys, what's up? Zim here. I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to MIDI map the Tractor Z2 to Serato Scratch Live. Okay, I have attached two files in the description, and you're going to go ahead and download those. And before we start, make sure your Z2 is plugged in, and also make sure your Serato box is plugged in. So the first thing you want to do is you want to download those files and you want to open up your controller editor. Okay, turn your Z2 on and you open up your controller editor. And you want, you're going to want to go to File. Sorry, I'm on my phone camera here. You want to go to File, Open Configuration. And you're going to want to find the file that I put in there, the .ncc file. It's probably going to be somewhere in your downloads. You want to open that file up. .ncc. Okay. From there, you just want to save the configuration. And you can put it right in your controller editor file. I'm not going to save it because I already have it there. Once you do that, you can go up to controller editor, preferences, and hit controller. And what this is going to do is, this, as you can see now, some of the lights on the mixer are not lit up. So if you go into the controller preferences, off state brightness, and bring that up. As I'm bringing that up, you can see the lights get a little bit brighter. So what I usually like to do is I like to leave it right about here. Okay, X out of that. X out of that. Okay. Next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to find your Serato file. I'm sorry, your Serato folder. So you just go up in here, type in Serato. And it's going to be this one here, underscore, Serato, underscore. You want to go to MIDI. And now the XML file, .xml that I sent, that you guys should have downloaded as well. You want to place that into this folder here. So again, that's Serato, MIDI, and then place that file in there. You want to X out of there. Okay, and then you want to open up Scratch Live. Make, again, make sure your SL2 is plugged in. Open up Scratch Live. Okay, you want to go right up to Setup. And click on the little MIDI tab here. And you're going to click on... It's the same name as the XML file. So it should be Z2, Cube Points, Loop Roll, Instant Doubles, Load, MIDI Panel, Done, dot, 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 whatever. Okay, you want to click on that and click on load okay back out of that so now what you can see here let me turn my speaker on here okay I have cue points set up here let me find one that I have all the cue points let me just add some cue points okay so we got the cue points set up here Here, the cue points are going to be, you can change these colors in your controller editor. But here they're purple, yellow, purple, yellow. Okay. So you get the cue points there. Same thing on that side. Okay. This button down here is a loop. It turns your loops on and off. Same thing on this side. For some reason, this flux button lights up, this button doesn't. I'm not sure why that is. I couldn't figure that out, but that didn't bother me, so I didn't try and fix it. Okay, now if you hold in Shift and hit these Q buttons here, it is uh, loop rolls. Okay, you can see that. Same thing on that side, obviously. Uh, your effects are mapped out, so here's let's bring this up. I'll show you here. You have your effects. So you got the on off button, which is this button here. On, off, on, off, on, off. Okay, so let's turn them on. Okay, I also mapped out these, you see these little deck buttons here, deck one, deck two, corresponds here. So if you hit this, it's going to turn on this effect. So I'll hit deck one, and it turns deck one on. All right. Now I'll come over to the second deck and turn this effect off right there. Okay. So you have. Effect 1, Effect 2, 
effect one, effect two. On and off. Of course, this still works. Just as usual, because that's actually in the mixer and not in... That's actually in the mixer and not in the... Uh, in Serato. So, for this effect here, let's... Uh, turn this on. So, this is going to be a little... I don't know if you can hear the speaker here. There's going to be a little echo out effect. So, you just turn it... Turn it to dry wet knob here. This is your dry wet knob. And then these are your beat. This is your beat knob. So you think of the screen here as I scroll. You got one over one, two over one, four over one. So let's do two over one. You can see it actually extends a little bit. So yeah, it's just real sex, just like normal. Um, these buttons here, I use. So a lot of times I use one turntable instead of two. So these two green buttons here, the relative internal buttons, I've made them instant double. So if you look at on this side, I have one, one song playing. This side, I have nothing. So this, this B button here, I'll press that right now, and you'll see instant doubles. So now I can actually get the same thing playing on both sides at the same time. Okay, now when in internal mode, when you're in internal mode here, I've mapped this sync button to be a play stop button, so. Okay, so that's just a simple play pause button. Um, this knob here, deck C, it controls your library scroll, so up, down, up, down, you know. Pretty simple. Um, this, these two buttons here are your um, pitch control. So you speed, if you hold it in, you speed up. And then when you let it go, it goes back to normal. Or hit this one, it slows it down. Sorry about that. It's a weird song. Um, I think that's pretty much it. And like I said, this is a this is a loop. It's an eight eight count loop. I have it set for. I think that's it. Your your headphones still work the same because they're internal as well. Oh, these uh these load buttons I've midi mapped. So if you if I hit this button here, it's going to load this song to that deck, or if I hit the, the B button, it's going to load it to B deck. Um, that's, that's pretty much it. Your shift button or your loop hold, I don't know if I showed you that. So that's, I mean, that's pretty much it. Just make sure you download those files, put them in the places, their respective places, make sure you save them. Um, other than that, everything should be, that should be the way to go. Um, any problems, hit me up. I'll put my email in the description. So, that's it. That's how you mini-map your Z2 to Serato.